On our visit to Hungary, we decided to go out and see what the nightlife is like in Budapest, one of the most vibrant nightlife cities in Central Europe. In Hungarian mythology, the goddess of the night is a deity with three faces – the maiden, the mother and the old woman. Perhaps for this reason the night is usually very long, intense and characterized by the overwhelming and constant presence of women of different ages. Undoubtedly, the Hungarian night has the character and aroma of a woman. Night usually start quite late, around 9 p.m. Let's just say that there's not much time to get bored or to not know what to do. You always find something new and different. But as with any lady, it all depends on knowing how to find those particular subtleties, places and moments that wake everything up. As with any goddess, one must learn to respect and understand her. After all, captivating a deity is no easy task. It is best to start with the young side of the goddess of the night. For example, by taking a leisurely stroll along the Danube with uh, the occasional stop at her many romantic Art Nouveau bars. From maiden goddess to mother goddess, an intense facet where there is no subtlety. Things are as they are shown without shame or half measures. For this, the best thing to do is to head for the Jewish Quarter, where you will find numerous nightlife centers. Between lights, bars, music and restaurants, this new side of the night will envelop you. Night and alcohol tend to make the daughters of the goddess much more uninhibited. So, if you are lucky enough to meet a local girl, it will be an experience that will combine the physical with a captivating feminine intelligence. It is time to talk about the more mature side of the goddess, the moment when the light is confused and mixed with the dawn of day. Here, two possible paths emerge. One will end to the local bars and nightclubs with an intentional Kirsch style, where we will leave our last drops of energy. The second way consists of simply wandering around the center in search of whatever the night wants to give us. It is at this moment that you will surely receive some explicit invitation, appropriate for many and inappropriate for a few. Maybe later. Okay, Maybe. I thank you back, sir. My name is Hannah and I will be at your funny and nice. Thank you very much, Hannah. Keep in mind that the sex trade is perfectly normal in Budapest and is just another industry. As such, there are numerous establishments offering their services to the most diverse clientele.
The older the night gets, the more uninhibited it becomes. And so the offer of all kinds of enticements, both natural and artificial, is on offer. Whether goddesses or mere mortals, certain women and certain knights can be a bit of a cheat and a bit of a liar. Or at least, they can exhibit the intelligence and talent to transmute existence into a blurred reality. That's why you'll find some places where they promise you free entrance to a paradise from which, if you want to leave, you will have to pay for a drink, which is usually quite generous. Of course, the nights are the opposite of the day. Hungary, and Budapest in particular, is a perfect example of this. Hungarian society was for many years on the other side of the Iron Curtain which is why it is restrained, discreet and austere in appearance. However, this restraint only happens during the day, because when twilight begins to fall, the night begins to rain unabashedly, and enveloped in an atmosphere of sensuality and carnal pleasures. Budapest's nights are not for beginners. One cannot claim to be able to seduce deities without first having tried a mere mortals. When you look back on these nights, you will experience a combination of intense moments and perhaps the nostalgia of a fiery and fleeting love, but with the potential of something eternal. After all, these are the nights of Hungarian goddesses.